Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to call uh, today's uh, title, or I'll title my thoughts with this word, Jealousy Red Lights. I'm still on the issue of Cain and Abel, if you remember. I mean, like I said earlier on in, in the book of Genesis, it was nobody, God never asked them to bring a sacrifice. God never asked them. It was a choice Cain made and nobody, God didn't specify that bring me this or bring me that. It was a choice they made as to the kind of materials to bring. Number one, the choice to, to make a sacrifice or to give a sacrifice or to offer a sacrifice. And number two, the, the choice of the materials to use. And then when all these things, I mean, uh, happened, and the Bible says God respected, had respect unto the sacrifice of, of Abel, but he did not have respect unto the sacrifice of Cain. And then the Bible says Cain's countenance changed and Cain began to get angry. He was, he was getting angry and he wasn't only getting angry. I mean, he was, he was reaching a point where he was beginning to be unreasonable. He wasn't reasoning properly. He wasn't functioning properly. He wasn't intelligently analyzing the issues and then forming a, a, a very important intelligent decision or forming intelligent reasons or making good reasons why the, 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 his sacrifice was not respected. But he then began to blame Abel for this, his sacrifice not being accepted. And as a result of it, jealousy got the better of him. It was jealousy. You, you weren't doing the right thing and you're not getting the right results because you can't do the wrong thing and get the right results. I mean, that's, that's what, and somebody does the right thing and get the right result. And instead of asking, why am I not getting the right result? And then to go back to your drawing uh, uh, board again and assess everything and analyze everything, uh, Cain began to blame Abel for his misfortune. And then here are where the red lights come in. God asked Cain a question. Why are you troubled? Why is your countenance sad? Why are you in, in this kind of mood? Why are you jealous? Why are you, why are you blaming your brother? God gave Cain an opportunity to sit with God and let God explain. God teach him that this is what you are doing wrong. God asked, this is it. Now here's the first red light. He said, oh, nothing, 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 no, I'm okay. Fresh name, fresh name. You shut the door to reasoning. Jealousy red lights. You shut the door to reasoning. You're not reasoning properly. You're not, and, and, and number, number two, God didn't say, listen, if you do well, if you do well, if you, you are the person, you are the person responsible. The second light of jealousy, you don't look at yourself. You don't examine yourself. You shut the door to reasoning. And the second light is that you don't even begin to, you, you don't look at yourself. What am I doing wrong? And number three, God said, if you do right, you, you, you'll be rewarded. You refuse to listen to any other thing. You, are, you become preoccupied with the person. You become preoccupied with the person's smile. If the person smiles, you say the person is, is smacking. It is a smack. It is a sneer. If the, if the person sneezes, you say it is an insult, a sibilant insult. It is a musical insult. They chew, ha, ah, he is singing out an insult. So, so here's, here's the principle. There are red lights for your jealousy. Number one, you don't reason. Number two, you, 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 you become preoccupied. You are not looking at yourself. You're not looking at what you're, and number three, even when people try to explain to, Listen, you shut the door. You shut the door. And you, and you are so preoccupied with the person that you never look at any other thing else. Oh, wow. 
Cain's red lights were there for him to see. He didn't see. In the end, it ended up with murder. You'll be murdering innocent people, not necessarily taking a knife and killing them physically, but you'll be murdering them with, a, with your tongue of jealousy, with what you say about them, with how destructive your mouth is, how destructive your tongue is with those people. It's nothing else than your jealousy. Oh, jealousy offers us red lights. God offers us red lights. When we're walking the path of jealousy, you have a choice to listen or not. Obey the red lights or not. See you later.